Some residents of Belmina are scrambling after what could be a fatal blow to their years long fight against a rock quarry. It's a story we broke yesterday right after a judge ruled against their arguments and rejected efforts to block mining based on Alabama law. The judge determined that the TVA Research and Extension Center is not a public school and the Toyota Mazda manufacturing facility is not part of the TVA mega site, which was the foundation of the plaintiff's argument. That means the law blocking a quarry doesn't apply, but we also learned another law could help protect their way of life in a small species. Our Ken McCoy explains where they go from here. The sign behind me paints a perfect picture of how the Bell Minor community is not allowing a disappointing verdict to keep them down. And they are now shifting their focus to their next plan in hopes of a more favorable outcome. It certainly stung that the judge didn't see it in our um, our favor. The pang of disappointment is the wound the Bell Minor community is working to heal after Monday's ruling. It seems like our morale is low right now, and I think it is. And so it's important to get the word out that it, this isn't the end of the fight at, by any means. The Southern Environmental Law Center is stepping in to help the churches, the Alabama River Alliance, and the snails. There's a snail. There are actually three endangered snails in the Limestone Creek where the quarry is operating, or, or hopes to operate, I should say. And uh, one of those can only be found in the Limestone Creek. The armor snail, the slender capilloma, and the Anthony's River snail are all protected under the Endangered Species Act. And so our hope is that the Department of the Interior will help us protect that creature. But this isn't the first time this issue has come up in Limestone County. Back in 2016, the replacement of Ohio 20 Bridge was delayed after it was discovered it was home to these species and raised the construction price of the project. The bridge would eventually open in 2021, but Belmina is hoping for a victory. Um, we want them to know that there is a plan, and um, even when it seems like we've lost a battle, the war still rages, and so we're still fighting that war. The community will meet again in December to continue to strategize their next move. In Belmina, Kim McCoy, Fox 54 News. Yeah, and the Southern Environmental Law Center was unable to provide comment on the matter. We'll continue to keep you updated as the fight continues.